Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Today, I am at the auto repair place. My truck's been towed over here. I'm gonna meet with them and talk to them about the repairs and coordinate. I have no idea what they're gonna say, how long they're gonna take. So let's go inside and see if they'll let me shoot some video inside of what the truck looks like and discuss what kind of uh, repairs need to be made. All right, we're walking up to the truck right now. Gonna do an inspection and walk around and I guess discuss what needs to be done and what uh, is missing and get an orientation of what these guys do. So uh, anyway, I'm hoping that we have awesome repairs and that they're quick about this stuff and we'll see how it goes. So his estimate's pretty basic here, but he kind of let me know that when he when I talked to him. All right, I'm looking at the rear doors and I noticed something new here. This speaker has been just totally cut out. So I imagine for the repair, they're going to need to put in a new plastic panel here and then replace the speakers. Here's the bare wire. So that's one thing you can see back here. They pulled out all of the carpet in the back and the back seat's missing. This little plastic piece, I don't know what that goes to, but uh, all the glass looks like it's intact. Looks like underneath here, the panel that goes under here is gone. Some bare wires. Looks like the ignition key is still intact. Oh, they cut the steering wheel. That's how they got the club off. They cut the steering wheel right here. Pretty typical for them to do that. So that's what happens if you use a club. They're going to cut the steering wheel. So probably need to put a new steering wheel on. I did not see that listed. I did notice on the interior that this wiring set here, I don't know what this is for, is going here and is cut and that those same color wires are down here. So it looks like it goes along here under the carpet and back here and when they remove the carpet and the rear seat that they just cut this. That's my guess. We're pretty sure that these seat belts are not the original. These are more of a, a brown and they seem really, really worn, especially if you compare this to the seat belt on the back. This is a gray. This is the original. So the front one should not be much more worn than this and the color should be gray instead of this sort of brownish color. So pretty, pretty sure that these are not the original seat belts. Um, especially because this is brown down here, brown seat belt, but gray on the top. So gray on the top original with brown down below. So sort of strange there. So that's about all I know about the condition of the truck. It's being turned over to a group of technicians that are going to work on the repairs. I did talk to the insurance company, so there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is that they've given a green light for repairing my truck and paying for it. That is huge. I sent over a bunch of documents that I had taken photos with my uh, phone camera of the documents. Like I had the title that was in the seller's name signed over to me, um, a bunch of other stuff, the DMV reports, everything else. So I sent that over and apparently because the truck has been recovered, having those documents, that's enough to green light getting the payments moved through, which before, uh, before the truck was recovered, they were telling me they had to have the title in my name before they could pay it. So apparently something has changed We've because the truck's been recovered and those documents are sufficient. So they have sent out the first payment, which is $200 to cover things that were in the truck that were stolen that I lost. There was a bunch of items that were in the truck that were stolen. And so I'm getting uh, paid for things like the Wi-Fi hotspot, uh, a bunch of little things that I had, personal belongings. So that's the first payment and they're paying for the towing and getting over in the repair place. That said, the bad news is they're doing a tentative green light for repairs. So what that means is if they get part way in, they put batteries in it and they try to start it up and see that the engine is seized or the transmission is seized, then they're gonna total it. If they get part way in and they find out that some wiring harness is not manufactured, still available, and that it's thousands of dollars, they can't get it, then they're gonna total the vehicle. 
So there is a still a slight chance that it's going to be total, but chances are good, crossing my fingers, that they're going to repair it. Another item that's sort of in the bad news category is that they told me now it's going to take four to six weeks to get this repaired, maybe longer. Uh, so again, I'm without my own truck for that amount of time. Thank goodness Steve, my good friend, has given me a loaner truck of his Ford 350, um, F350, so that I can actually tow the trailer. So in the near future, I'm looking at getting out of Denver and going up into the mountains where it's cooler and towing the trailer up there while I wait for the repairs. And so that's sort of what I'm looking at in the near future. I've got a bunch of things to do to the trailer to get it ready to roll again and move things out of Becky's garage and back into the trailer so anyway that's the status update of what is going on uh, with the gofundme money that had funded now to my account i'm holding on to that because i don't know how much the insurance is going to pay for i don't know if they're going to total the vehicle and i need to turn around and buy a vehicle i don't know if they do total it how much they'll give me and how much i'll be short because uh, used trucks, particularly the F-350s, are inflating drastically in price now that there's a shortage on new vehicles. So there's so many unknowns that are up in the air right now. I'm holding on to that money as a safety measure until I'm through this crisis. And at the end, I can see what happens, what the insurance is going to pay for. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. I guess it's going to be another several weeks before I get the truck back and we'll just have to see what happens and I may get a call here in a few weeks saying they can't do it and it's being totaled or they may say that everything's green lighted and that uh, they're going to continue with the repairs. So that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment and I'll see you in a future video.